Okay guys, so we're going to get started. So right here I am using, this is by Heart Candy, and this is called the Highlight and Contour Duo Face Stick. I'm just going to be using the concealer part to go ahead and prime my eyelids. So I just want to make sure I go ahead and just rub that base in for that. And I'm just spreading it all over evenly. And the thing I like about it is it sticks really nice. The eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using is one from Milani. And this is called their Everyday Eyes Eyeshadow Collection. I do believe it's permanent right now. So the guys, this is an affordable drugstore tutorial for you guys. I absolutely love the way this turned out, guys. So right now what I'm doing is I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush. And I'm just going in and just blending that shadow pretty much to the crease of the lid is where I want to really concentrate with that particular shadow. So just blending it out so it just gives a nice effect. Now I'm going into another palette from the drugstore. This is called the Wet n Wild. This is the Vanity Palette. This is an older one that they came out with a long time ago and since then it has been discontinued guys. But you can of course just take any kind of dark brown shadow and you can get the exact same effect with this look also if you do want this particular palette that i have don't forget to check like some of your discount websites you might be able to find it there for an affordable price but this has just been one of my go-to's and i just love how dark this color is but at the same time it's not two of a brown brown at the same time so it's just a really pretty overall palette and again i'm just going ahead and please placing that color mostly into the crease because that's where I want it most concentrated. The next palette I'm going to be using is the Comfort Zone palette and I'm taking that kind of pinkish shade in there that actually says eyelid and I'm doing just that. I'm going ahead and applying that shadow to my eyelid and the reason why is because whenever I tend to do like a dark outer eye, a dark on the outside, I like to just put something really light on the inside. So right now what I'm going to do since I've already placed that shadow down is I'm actually going in with um, an E35. This is more like a precise crease brush. Um, at least that's what I'm going to call it. And the brush is clean, but I'm just going in there and just cleaning up that area. So right here, I'm actually putting down some gel eyeliner. This is by L'Oreal. And I absolutely love their gel eyeliner. Of course, I get it in the color black. Guys, it is absolutely beautiful. And I'm just going to wing out just a little bit. So it kind of gives that whole cat eye effect. But I absolutely love this liner. The shocking thing is I actually was able to do it on camera. Next, I'm going in with my mascara. And I'm going to be using, this is by Rimmel. And this is the Lash Accelerator. I'm using that just to go ahead and prime my eyelids for my false lashes that I'm going to be putting on here in just a second so I'm just going ahead and just getting a nice couple of coats on there to kind of lay down a base for the fake lashes so now what I'm doing which is actually a weird clip here but this is a clip of where I'm supposed to be applying the foundation I really don't know how that clip just jumped in there all of a sudden so I'm a little bit confused about that, but I've already applied the foundation for some reason in this clip, so not really sure what's going on there. Next, I'm using some under eye concealer, and the one I picked for that is the Maybelline. This is the Master Conceal, and I actually picked it up in the shade 40 Medium. So I'm going ahead and applying that to the areas that I like to highlight. Now, for the foundation that I use, and I don't know why it didn't show this, guys, but I actually use the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation for the foundation look, and I just done that with a beauty blender, and then I went back and used that Real Techniques brush that you saw me using there. And then, like I said before, I'm using the Master Conceal in Medium by Maybelline. And I'm just going underneath and just blending that out with a damp beauty blender. Now I'm going in with some setting powder. I haven't found a drugstore setting powder that I like as of yet. So I did use my Sephora brand setting powder along with my Laura Mercier. As you guys know, I mix them together and that's my cocktail for my under eye powder. 
and I'm just going to apply just a little bit more for baking purposes, just a little bit to the chin. Anywhere you really don't want there to be shine is where I apply it. So now I'm going back in with the Heart Candy, that duo stick, guys. That color is so dark on my skin, but I absolutely love it. It does have more of that grayish tone, and I would definitely use this more so for contouring. As you guys know, the one that I have by NYX, that contour and highlight stick, I tend to use that to bronze up the face more, and by meaning that it does have more of a reddish undertone, but this one actually has more of that grayish brown. So this one's really going to just make your face look really slender, and it's kind of going to take away. With this one, it's more of that contour look as a pro as opposed to a bronzing look. So hopefully that makes sense for you guys. But as you can see, it's just really there. See how I just sculpt that cheek out like perfectly. So that's what I was going for with this. I was a little scared about how it was going to work out on the forehead area. My forehead, I think, is just a little bit big, guys, but that's okay. So as you can see, I'm just using the brush here, and I do circle emotions and kind of just blend it out there. And then I was a little bit confused if that was actually hair or if that was still the makeup. And then I just blended out the forehead area. So as you can see, I'm looking down, kind of seeing like, is this going to work? But it actually worked out pretty well, guys. I didn't have to use anything extra to touch up. And I definitely like the way that it looks. So now I'm going to work on the nose. As you know, I like to contour my nose. I just tape the brush and squish the bristles together. And by me doing that, I'm getting right up in that nose area. So that's exactly what I'm doing right now. I just want to make sure I get the nose area complete. And I just go back with the brush and kind of just fan it out just a little bit. If you are someone where you have a larger nose and that's something that you would want to do, guys, it is so easy just to take some concealer and just run it down the, the um, well, bronzer or whatever contouring cream you're using and just run that down the sides of the nose. It really does make a difference guys when you contour your nose. So now I'm just going in with my Real Technique setting brush and I am brushing off that excess powder. So I'm just sweeping that away from underneath the eyes. Sorry about the stupid look that's on my face right now. As I was going back and editing this I did realize how stupid I looked. So now I'm actually taking a eyeshadow and but I'm gonna use this as a highlight and this is the one in Enchanted and it's by elf guys absolutely love this for a highlighter you guys can see it kind of gives off a golden color kind of a subtle highlight it's not too over the top guys but I really do love it and the brush I picked up is actually from I can't remember where I got that brush from I want to say the brush is actually from Walmart it's like a Walmart brand that I haven't seen out there before so, and I'm just going to go ahead and put a little bit of that shadow on my nose and, of course, on my Cupid's bow as well. So, really love the way that looks. And, of course, I just like to make sure that it's definitely well blended when I use an eyeshadow as my highlighter. The next thing I'm going into is the Milani Baked Blush and Bellissimo Bronze. Guys, this has been one of my staples for years. Of course, I'm taking my Real Technique brush. And I'm applying that to the apples of my cheek. Absolutely love this color, guys. Again, it's just a really nice, pretty apricot color. And it's absolutely beautiful on. And so for my lips, I'm actually using one of the NYX Butter Glosses. This is in the color, let's see here, going blind, can't see it. Ginger Snap. Guys, this is such a beautiful color. It's a darker brown, but if you love browns like I do, you already know that this was the sh the lip that I was going with today. I love the NYX Butter Gloss, especially for fall and winter time, or if you just need something really quick to put on the lips, guys, this is absolutely perfect. You cannot go wrong with that. So there you guys have it. That is the completed look. There you see me modeling for you guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the way out and make sure to check out my latest video. And I will see you guys in the very next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.